All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we're taking a look at a watch from Crafter Blue. Now, if you guys know uh, Crafter Blue, probably you know them by their straps. They make really, really wonderful straps for Seiko watches. Have been doing it for years for the Sumo series, just straps that match up with the case, and they're made out of this really nice natural rubber. So Crafter Blue, a few years back, I do believe, started making their own watches. They're a Hong Kong-based company. Um, but I actually ran into a group from Crafter Blue at the LA Microlux show. I think that was in 2018. And uh, it was really neat to meet them, really nice people. Um, and they make really, really impressive watches. This watch came to me by way of Scott Stoffer from Watches Galore. Thanks, Scott, for getting it out to me. I'll leave a link to his channel uh, and his review of this watch down below in the description. But let's talk about this 600 meter Hyperion Diver, guys. This is a really, really impressive watch. Big watch, I'll tell you right off, it comes in at 45 millimeters to lug to lug. Uh, you've got 50 lug tip to lug tip, and that's because of the curvature of the case. We'll get to that in here in a minute. You've got, I do believe these are 22 millimeter openings. I'll measure that just to verify. And it comes in like a chunky monkey at 16 millimeters of thickness on this thing. You know, it's a 600 meter dive watch, so 2,000 feet. So you do expect it to be quite thick. But like I said, looking at the side of the case, you can see it really dives down to hug the wrist. So... Let's talk a little bit more about the uh, workings of this watch. So this is running the Salita SW200, a very nice high beat movement of 28,800 vibrations per hour. It's a 26 joule movement with a date function. Um, and it's a really, really good tried and true movement. I do believe it's 26 joules in the Salita SW200. Taking a look at the dial on the watch, this particular model has this beautiful sun blur sunburst, excuse me, blue dial on it. You have applied indices with the polished surrounds, which is really nice. Date window at the three o'clock position, which does have a nice white outline around it. Simple and clean writing with the crafter blue in the logo just there but below 12 o'clock. Professional self-winding 600 meters and 2,000 feet. This is considered to be a Swiss made watch, guys, uh, because it's running the Salita SW200, and I do believe they're doing a lot of the assembly of this watch in Switzerland. It's considered to be a uh, Swiss made watch. The crown screws down nicely. It's very interesting if you look at the crown or the, the case shape on this watch, obviously you have a blown up or a big cushion case, but I did notice that the, uh, the, the crown guards on it are very similar to the 6105 or this is the SBDC 109 from Seiko. I thought that was kind of neat that they kind of, I, I do believe they kind of mim that, mimicked that look. You have a screw down crown, which on this I'm going to Go ahead and pull it out for you guys. Now, if you're aware of the Salita SW200, it is hacking and hand winding. So in the first position, you can actually wind the watch as such. And if you pull it all the way out, you will see that second hand stop. That's the hacking capability. But with that all the way out, I wanted to show you guys, it almost it has this trip lock crown set up like that, which means it's, it's a super, super waterproof watch, which you'd expect on a 600 meter watch. Another thing is the crown is very, very easy to manipulate. It's an oversized crown. I'm thinking that probably has to be eight or nine millimeters. And you do have that Crafter Blue logo on there, which looks really nice. Since we got to take a uh, looking at the side, I'll show you, you have a beautiful casework on this watch, brushing along the sides, polishing along the tops, which looks really, really nice and gives this watch a very bling look from the from the top. And then it's again polished here on this underside on this bevel here. Going to the uh, case back here. Now they are using a, what they're saying, what I believe is a ferrous metal all the way around this case. So it's a non-magnetic, um, you know, uh, case design or it's built to, it's housed in a soft iron is what they said or something like that. So it's anti-magnetic. Um, you can see the waterproof rating there, the Crafter Blue Swiss made. Uh, so it's a very, very nicely done watch. I'm not, I, I wish I knew a little bit more about the anti-magnetism. I probably should have read a little bit more about it, but very big and beefy watch. Let's go ahead and pause it for a second, get this watch on my seven inch wrist, and then we'll go out that loom shot. All right, so here it is on my seven inch wrist. And I wanna talk about a couple of other things that I didn't mention when we had the watch in my hand. But first is the strap. You have 17 holes in this strap, so it's really, really super adjustable. As you can see, there's a lot left over on my seven inch wrist, so it's gonna fit you guys out there with bigger wrists. And it's curved, so it's very, very nice the way it matches up to the curvature of the case. Oop, knocking my watch down. Nice job, Dunlap. But you can see with the curvature of the case and everything, it looks really nice. And I didn't mention, I mean, I didn't show you before, but you do have that helium helium escape valve there 
on the side. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is the bezel action on the watch. It does have a very positive working, you know, 120 click bezel that locks in very nice and tight. I don't feel any black back play at all. Go ahead and get that lined up. And the watch fits the wrist really, really nicely done. So another thing, I, since I threw my Seiko down, we might as well check out the case. This watch does come with this really nice case. Um, they put the um, paperwork up here in the top, all the warranty card and everything like that. So there's the information for Scott. I do believe he's got this watch for sale. So, uh, you know, I'm going to leave his email and his information down below, his review of this watch in the description. But um, if, you want, if you're interested in purchasing this watch from him, I know new they're about $750 at the Crafter Blue website, close to $700 at other websites. And I'm not sure what he wants for this, but it's Looks like basically a brand new watch. So let's dim the lights and check out the loom on this bad boy. All right, so the camera is actually showing a lot more light than is actually in the room here. But I think with the Super Luminova and the number of layers they're applying on this watch, we're not going to have any problem getting it to glow. So Crafter Blue making a great, great looking watch, guys. This is a like what I'd consider like a professional purpose built dive watch for a 600 meter watch. The rubber straps that come on them are, are extremely comfortable. They do have the three different uh, variants out there. This is the blue with the silver bezel. They've got a black dial with a black bezel insert, and they've got the black dial with the silver bezel. And they're all really, really nice looking watches. I'll leave a link to their website down below. So, all right, guys, the Crafter Blue Hyperion Diver, the 600 meter diver. Thanks to Scott at Watches Galore for getting this watch out to me. And if you're interested in picking it up, you can reach out to him at the email down below in the description. So, all right, thanks guys.